It's Reija, and today I'm here with another video. This time it's my winter TBR. The next books I'm going to talk about are ones that I'm going to read in the next three months or so. I'm not going to do monthly TBRs because I am quite a slow reader and because of that I need to have uh, time to fully invest myself in some of these books. Without further ado, let's get started. First up is Palimpsest by Catherine M. Valente. This is one of her older books and uh, I'm already halfway through it. And it is quite interesting. It is about this city called Palimpsest, which is located not quite in reality, but not quite in a dream either. And to get there, you must have sexual intercourse with someone who has been in the city and bears the mark or the map of the city on her body or, or, or on his body. And it's told from four distinct point of views and uh, it's very mysterious and interesting and kind of dark as well. Next is Wintner's Luck by Elizabeth Knox. And this is uh, set in the 19th century uh, in France during the Napoleonic Wars. And it uh, is a story about a young Wintner who meets an angel uh, on his vineyard. And they start a rather unorthodox, not quite a love affair. And uh, they will see each other annually and uh, the book details the life of the Wintner from the time he's very young uh, to his um, senior years. Next is Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World by Haruki Murakami. It is a sci-fi detective story, so what's not to love really? It's quite long, so I will probably have to take a couple of weeks to finish this, because I am a slow reader. <laughs> Next, Fever Dream by George R. R. Martin. It is set in the Mississippi and it has vampires and steamboats. It's not a, it's not a romanticized uh, vampire story, it's basically a horror book. Uh, so it's kind of um, tapping two, ticking two boxes of a list for me, reading more diversely, like more uh, genres that I normally don't read, and horror is definitely one of them. And also reading more books from George R. R. Martin, who is one of my favorite authors, but I actually haven't read his other works uh, that are not A Song of Ice and Fire related. So this will be interesting for me. Next up is Sankarik by Johanna Sinisalo, or Heroes. Uh, this book does not have a translation out, so I will not be reviewing it, uh, because it is not something that people who don't know Finnish can actually read. Uh, but it is part of my ongoing goal to read more Finnish authors and more Finnish language books. And it is a Kalevala retelling, which is the national epic of Finland. And uh, I've always been a fan of Kalevala. I really love uh, the stories and the heroic myths within it. So I'm quite excited to start reading this one. This is also quite a long read, so I will have to reserve some time to read it. And last, but certainly not least, is the is A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin. Just when I finish saying that I will read uh, more books from Martin that aren't Song of Ice and Fire related, this book is Song, and Song of Ice and Fire related, <laughs> and it is a prequel to A Song of Ice and Fire. It's set uh, approximately 100 years before the start of the series, and it details the life of Aegon and uh, his, um, his friend, his Kingsguard captain, uh, Duncan the Tall. And that has been my winter TBR. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.